watching a master at work. Shut up. Uh, let's get ready for the market open. We'll trade the open the first hour. The volatility will be high. And then we'll call it a day from here. And I'll just text everything on text chat. My, oh shit. Okay. Holy shit. And the X is up 500%. What the fuck? Oh my God. Reality. What the hell? Not sure why, but I had an order on 4770 that just filled off the open. I forgot I had it on there. All right, I'm gonna enter 40, 47.50. God damn, it went up. I'm gonna add more. I wanted to, I'll just go to 47.70. 47.70, there are $2.40. Filled at 2.5. God damn, 47.80. 47.50 is at eight bucks already. Uh, 47.70, 2.7. Wild. Wild. That NDX, bro. She fucking faked me out and opened so green. I got so happy. Tesla. Tesla looks pretty good. SPX looks even better. SPX for 800 is up 60%. 4750 is at 9.5. Uh, you can trim that. 4770 is 3.2. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 4,800 is 100% right now at 50 bucks from that opening and candle entry. Uh, 47.70, shit, let's go. Team's already fucking green. Yes, <laughs> let's go! 150, man, this shit could end in the money. Shout out 1,600 on NDX, rejection on that. Rejecting before their solid resistance here we have a solid one here at 47.50 just the key level usually just don't want it to, to give you a higher low on a shorter time frame i want to come in super bullish and let's see let's see let's see hope you trimmed we're trending lower right now trending really lower here hope you trim <laughs> why you didn't trim it's okay, I still have a shit ton of positions open. I'm holding these bitches, bro. I don't give a fuck. I just want to buy more 47.50. I don't know why I like that contract a lot. Let's see, and I'll make a... Only problem here, if it makes another lower high on the shorter time frames, you know, we could potentially see a short term, just like a, on the minute chart, short term. Bearish, but if you flip to the five minute, still all good. Five on and up open. Love to see it, buddy. Love to see it. Jake's going. I went super. High. I'm, I'm, I'm bullish, man. I'm bullish. You have support at 47.24.6, and then 47.20. Under that, I mean, if you're really bullish, under that is under 47.12. But other than that, looks pretty good. okay. But currently, it is a lower high on the minute. That's where you zoom out. You just wait for 47.37 to break, and then it's back to uptrend. Break 47.37 here in the next, like, 15, 20 minutes. You know, it's going to probably chop around all day. Tesla right now is almost at 14.5. If you took it, congratulations. I just don't like to be in many positions at once when I have one, two, three, four, five positions open. I 5x my daily goal and I have the urge to degen. Well, if you 5x your daily goal in the first three minute candles, I don't know. What to, like, I, I actually, I, 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 I did the same, but I'm still holding. I'm still holding. Like, I'm holding 30, 47, 50s. I'm holding 60, 47, 4,800. Those were 100%. They're at fucking 34. And I'm holding 50, 47, 70s. Those are also at like uh, 50, 60%. They're at fucking 17 right now. I'm bullish. I'm bullish, bro. I, th I, th I, th I think I think we go up. You can trim if you like, yeah. 
I'm back at 12K right now, but break now 47.43. We can see 47.50. I would trim, yes. I would 100%. So as you see now on the uh, time frame, shorter time frames at the open, you know, popped up 47.43, dropped down, made a low, popped up again at 47.37, made a high. The high was lower. Then the next high was also lower. But right now, the trend has shifted because it broke the previous high, which was 47.37. Now it made a high here at 47.41. If it pulls back, the low, if it, whenever it pulls back, the low will be higher than the previous low of 47.27. So now we're in a short-term uptrend. This is when you're looking at the minute chart. This is why I, I don't pay per hand or anything. I just literally look at the pretty much basics of price action. Is it a higher high? Is it a higher low? That's all I care about. You know, like right now, see it. You want to see where it holds, you know, where it makes that low. If it makes a low of 47.37, it's higher. You got to understand, mar mar market will always try to chop you out and take, take, take away from you because they don't want you to win every single time. So you've got to understand when it's the right time to trim and when it's the time to take profit. To me, as of right now, looking at it, bullish still intact. Now, if it comes under now 47.25, which was the previous low here where it made a low, I would probably get out of all my positions. Intraday. I'll always look for a re-entry. You know, that's if I did not trim. But if you trimmed, your your risk is managed. It doesn't really matter. Bingo. You see? Now, if the next candle is green, let's see. You got to see if the next candle is green. just want to see if the low on the one minute is, is solidified. As soon as you can see, it's solidified now. You got a high at, at, at break of 47.37, then a low is solidified. You see how it's in an uptrend? It's one minute, so you can't really like, oh, it's really uptrendy. But just by looking at the chart, with SPX, you don't need tape. You don't need tape or anything. You need, if with SPX, the secret is you have Tesla on the chart, you have Apple on the chart, you have Amazon on the chart, you have Johnson & Johnson, you have... Uh, Google A and Google B on the chart. If those bitches are going up, you know, usually that's where SPX goes up because you know they they're ten percent holdings of SPX. There's also a hundred. There's also another four hundred and ninety companies on in the SPX. So that's why you open the heat map. You're looking at the heat map. Heat map is green, it's relatively green. Will push up to the upside, and then you just look at the trend. Is the trend intraday bullish or or intraday bearish? And then you just play off that. Then you have fucking levels. If it breaks the key levels, it goes. And as you can see, we're back up all green, everything green. Obviously, it was more green, you know, but this is what it is. If you didn't trim, you didn't trim. Have to now break 47.50 and start flying. Yeah, I said it's only like literally not even 20 minutes of market open. I wouldn't use a single unit. The chart is clean. There's nothing on the chart. There's nothing on the chart. It's just the chart. Literally, there is nothing on the chart. There we go. There we go, break. As you can see, now if it pulls back, most people, oh my God, it's a red candle. I need a sell. No, it's not where you sell. The trend is still intact. You sell when the trend breaks. You're never going to sell the top. You're never going to sell the bottom. It just never fucking works. But to sell at the perfect moment is when the trend breaks. Bitch goes under 47.37. Okay, the trend broke, but now it's making a new high. You see now it's 47.43 is the high. She comes down anywhere above 47.37, still in an uptrend. And if that ain't fucking free game, I don't know what the fuck is. There you go. You see? No, no, I'm not afraid. Bro, I was literally up 12K. I went all the way down to minus, minus 12. Now I'm back. I'm up at 20K. So now I'm 17K right now. You know? Why? Because the trend is intact. You even if, if 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 you don't know what the trend is doing on on a one minute, flip to the five minute, flip to the fifteen minute, flip to the thirty minutes, flip to the hour. How do you think we hold through all this? How do you think we don't have any paper hands? It's because we hold it. We simply hold it. Are you a trader or are you a bitch? How can you hold it? Is because understanding. There's no emotional attachment to the money. You know the money is 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 fuck the money. You know. 
That's why they say scared money don't make money, no risk, no worry, bullshit. Is because there's no attachment to the money. You are playing the chart. You are playing the chart. There is losses along the way because this is trading. No one is 100% perfect. I am not 100% perfect. You know, I'll hit 100%, 100%, 100%. Then yesterday, Amazon fucking bitch takes it all away. You know, nobody's 100%. You see, now it made a high at 47.43. Now, if it's under 47.37, it starts to get risky. You know, you trim. You trim a little bit. You know, you take some risk off the table. But trend is still intact. You see, I want you to learn, bro. Let me be real. Trading with signals is, is pretty good. You know, you got to understand. But you, you, what happens if, if something happens to me, for example? Like, what do you do? You know, I, don't, I can't make it in here tomorrow. What do you do? You just fucking sit there and wait? Because it's you versus you, bro. Only you are going to help yourself. I'll quit for the day. Well, I do have a little bit bad news. On January 19th, January 20, January 21st, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a vacation. So I'll, 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 I'll try. I'm, I'm, let's be real. I'm probably going to trade on the fucking vacation. But the whole point of the vacation is, is, is not to trade. But uh, let's be real here. You know, we got a new laptop. So we're definitely going to trade. It has two screens. So, oh, yeah, man. I haven't taken a, like a market's vacation in, in a while. I, I don't even know what, the, what life is. <laughs> during the during the morning if the market is open here we go you see everything back to green now you know why you guys don't hold it's because you have emas on your chart you have emas on your chart emas are, are used for 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 interest support for scalping but you can't hold when you have emas that are so close to the candle it's all lagging indicators your eye is not lagging what you see is what you see only all, 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 only thing we need is for you to tell us SPX is going to 4,800. Look at the, look at the daily time frame, bro. Look at the daily time frame. Flip to the daily quickly. Look at the daily time frame. Hammer, bullish engulfing, ascending, gap up. And then you got fantastic news, pretty much. The low is higher. My low is higher. Than what it what what previous low was, and if you really really want, you can use that previous low of forty seven thirty three. But as a scalper, you know you want to use the smaller one because scalping is all about the seven percent, five percent, ten percent gains. We're day traders, we're scalpers on 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 steroids. There you go. You see going up, but but oh, there is a lot of candles. I paper hand. Just hold for the trend. The trend is your fucking friend. Same as the motherfucker where you see the stock up a hundred dollars. I'm going to take puts. Motherfucker, the trend is your friend. It's going up. Look. Look at it. Now it's 47.45. Like nothing happened. Like nothing. Look at fucking Tesla just popping. Look at Amazon popping. These are the top indicator uh, uh, holdings on SPX. Literally the top holdings on SPX. If you took that fucking 1,100 call, how much is it right now? Let's just see. For uh, I told you take it at $13. How much is it right now? Let's just see. Is that $17? Here, 47.50 back at 9 bucks. 47.70 at $2.40. So now we want a higher high. What is the higher high, guys? Come on, someone tell me. Someone give me what is the higher high in this particular case. Type it down for 47.45.30. I want you to fucking learn. You are learning. Perfect. Beautiful. Is it making a new high now on the intraday? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. 47.46.42 now. Now. Now, what is technically my higher low? What is my higher low now? 47, 37.78. Good job, David. Good fucking job. Good job. That's all you need. That's all you fucking need. And I just hold. That's all I fucking do. I'm not doing anything rocket science. Well, I'm not doing anything rocket science. Fuck all these stupid motherfucking guys who tell you to put drop Batman symbol on the chart and shit like that. They are setting you up to fail. Watching a master at work. Shut up.